hi guys if you are new here welcome to my video thank you for coming through and if you are an old subscriber thank you very much i really appreciate every one of you and also i want to apologize for leaving i mean i know right i left for like months and i'm really really sorry i'm so sorry for that i apologize okay so okay so without wasting much of your time let's go to the video so i'm using la girl first finity all day primer plus is the primer i normally use and i'll be using maybelline super stay foundation in the shade 340 cappuccino on the norms, I should use 320 to 340. If at all, I only use Maybelline Superstay or something one shade lighter because this is one shade lighter than I mean, one shade darker because this is one shade lighter than me. And also, this has more like a red orangey on that tone, but not to worry, you see me blend it in in a minute. So, the key to blend it in is start from down, then you build to up. You can see i started from down then blend down to my neck this is because that way the it's the residue that you use for the upper parts rather than starting from up also i'll be using this concealer there's a video i made that i've always used this concealer this is pro conceal hd high definition yellow corrector this is not a normal concealer this is to correct your um black red pimple acne etc dark circles and co so the key is to use a wet beauty blender of course you can use your brush but i believe brush gives this um gives makeup this much look rather than beauty blender i don't know if that makes sense but i believe beauty blender will help you to reduce the stuff also i'm using um laurel true match foundation in the shade c9 i'm using it for contour because it's about two shades darker than me this way since this is a darker foundation or let's say concealer because this is what we're using it for now so now it will give this look more like a dark shadow i don't know if you understand if that makes sense because obviously when it's dark and light that's more like a shadow to it so basically this is what i'm just doing just mixing it and you can see the cheekbone is already bringing out that curved look so i make sure to blend it very well then if i see there's any need to add more i add more looking at this judging from the first thing i did to this point now you can see the difference is clear already so now to for powder i just use a normal powder brush and i'm using my shade powder in any case you feel it's too light for you you can as well just use a shade darker than you just one shade darker than you but i'm using my shade here since obviously i know what i'm doing but if you're a beginner just check my video i'll leave it in the description box below that way you use your normal foundation and everything but this way even if you are using two shades lighter than you can control it so the powder i used was kiss beauty three in one cake powder it has more light and more dark then for my contour powder i'll be using maybelline clear smooth all in one um, and this is 11 cacao then for my baking i use burn nine banana clay one powder i don't bake like i normally say i do not like to bake because it gives me flashbacks on my pictures and all but because i want to use a loose eyeshadow so i had to just use that powder so i just put it there in case there's any fallout this way it's drops on the powder and i'll dust the powder off eventually so my makeup does not stain at all and for my eyes i use sleek eyeshadow palette which is sleek caribbean collection 
in Kurako and I'll be using this loose eyeshadow watermark pigment shadow I used my Maybelline cacao for my cut crease area I'm not doing cut crease here I have a video of cut crease and I'll be sure to do one of these days I'll do an in-depth video more like an up close video on cut crease so I'm not doing cut crease here all I just did is apply my eyeshadow and you can use your powder you can use any powder of your choice but because i want to do a little bit of a smoky purple eye that was why i use this brown powder so i'm just going back and forth i'm just going back and forth with the eyeshadow i'll use the slick palette and i'll use the loose so i i dust off my powder and you can see the difference like everything is cleared and matched to my skin so for my blush i'm using classic blush my bro uh, my blush broke so all i did was just put it in another jar and that's all so for my highlighter i'll be using my anastasia glow kit and it's broken too. i know right i'm clumsy anyways i use the dark one for my bronzer and i use the light one for my highlighter as some of you might have noticed i do not like my videos to be too long this is why i normally fast forward it but i do have a video on foundation routine on my channel so i'll be sure to leave it in the description box below so you can watch it because that one has everything you need to know and it was not fast forwarded like this so um because this one has eyes lips and everything so talking of lips guess what for my lipstick i use lipstick and concealer yes you heard me right so because i do not have um more like a nude a lighter nude color so i just had to improvise and it came out perfect like i wasn't even expecting it trust me guys i only tried this like this is the first time i'm trying it and mm-hmm <laughs> so that's it anyways i just use my concealer on top and it's giving me this purple girl vibe like anyways i i outline my lips to make it nice and you know perfect so for my setting spray i actually use two setting spray which is nyx setting spray and la get dewy setting spray the dewy setting spray is it's more like a matte setting spray and the nyx i mixed glitter to it so it can give me more of a shine and i go ahead to use my glow kit again 